Here I have the four ounce Hoagie Tuna Rig epoxy jig. So this is a very large epoxy jig. It's through wired, inspect for big game fishing. And it comes with a um, super high end, super strong, super sharp VMC Tropic Star uh, 2.0 hook. And this hook is plenty strong for any bluefin tuna you would catch on this rig. Now I view the four ounce tuna epoxy by Hoagie to be a hybrid jig of sorts. Uh, this jig, um, you know, to me is a very natural casting jig. They use the smaller versions for Benito and false albacore, a little tunny or albies or Benita. Um, anyway, this is the tuna size version and it has the tuna rigging. So to fish these on a cast is very similar to how you would fish an epoxy jig in shore. You cast it out, collect your line, and you can keep your tip down really, really fast. You can fish it slow with lots of rod twitching. This is a good technique to buy a little time if you're leading a fish. You fish in a medium retrieve, just straight retrieve. Now, one thing about the epoxy jig is it's four ounces, but a lot of it's epoxy, so it's light relative to its size. So if you're casting on breaking fish and they've subsided, what you can do with the epoxy jig that you can't do with a plug is let this lure sink down about 15 or 20 feet and then start working the working the bait. To say I was running up on a school of fish, they're busting, busting, busting. I get to the school just as a dive. Well, I think a lot of times uh, the fish are still in the area, but it's just milling around. They're not on the surface. So the epoxy jig is very effective in that situation when you cast, you let it sink. So I've let it sink, I don't know, I'm not looking at the time clock, but call that 15 seconds, say. So now I start retrieving. I'm probably 15 or 20 feet down, and the laurel just have a very natural flutter. It sinks at a much slower rate than a lead jig. And uh, so you're gonna be fishing on the drop, but now I can slowly retrieve, and so it looks like a wounded bait fish under what would have been the feed. And this is a very, very effective bait, just to, you know, oh, tuna's just jumping right there. I'll see if I can do that. And uh, I'm right in there, right in there. Got him. Oh, popped him. Ah, oh, got him again. Yeah, baby. Well, that's how you work an epoxy jig. We'll talk about vertical jigging these in a minute. I'm just gonna land this fish. It looks like a good fish. And uh, you know, sometimes you don't get to do the vertical jigging tip and that's just fine. 